So you may have recently heard of the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity Certification, but today we'll be comparing the relatively new CC certification with the CompTIA Security Plus and which one would be best for you. So firstly, I wanna start off with the fact that there are lots of different beginner certifications out there for cybersecurity, but, but most would argue that the CompTIA Security Plus is one of the most popular, if not the most popular cybersecurity beginner certification that not only employers actually hire for, but also teach you the foundations for most entry-level cybersecurity roles that you'll likely be applying for. Now, while I still believe this to be the case where hiring managers and recruiters are going to still be looking for the CompTIA Security Plus on their entry-level candidates, I do think the ISC2 CC certification is definitely one that you should consider. And going into the biggest reason is cost. If you haven't already kept up with the news, ISC2 pledged 1 million free ISC2 CC certified in cybersecurity courses and exam fees. So based on the exact title of that article, as you have heard, getting the ISC2 CC certification is completely free as of right now. Obviously, this is for a limited time, and that is another reason why it is becoming so popular because, first of all, this certification comes with free training and a free exam fee to take the exam, as well as the fact that the ISC2 organization is the creator of the CISSP certification exam. This exam is kind of, you could say, the pinnacle of cybersecurity certifications, especially for your mid-career and senior level roles in cybersecurity. Whether you're going into auditing, defensive, or offensive security, the CISSP certification is a highly renowned, well-respected, well-sought-after certification that employers and candidates alike try to go for and are interested in hiring. So obviously, the ISC2 organization as a whole is, is a very big provider of cybersecurity certifications, hence another reason why a lot of people are jumping on the boat to take this CC or Certified in Cybersecurity exam. And who knows where the landscape of beginner cybersecurity certifications will go. In a few years, the CC certification may just as well be very popular with recruiters and hiring managers the same way that the CompTIA Security Plus currently is. And again, because it's free, it doesn't hurt to get the certification under your belt onto your resume on top of your Security Plus if you already have it or are planning to study for it. And by the way, if you're currently looking for a cybersecurity bootcamp, the one that I recommend is the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp and the best part is that they have a get a job or get your money back guarantee if you qualify. And right now they're also offering my audience $1,000 off using my code with Sandra when you apply for the bootcamp. That has a comprehensive technical cybersecurity curriculum for anyone who is just starting out as a beginner. You don't need any previous experience in cybersecurity or in tech. They also provide career resources. You can learn more about the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp and sign up for more information using the link in my description. So before I go into the compare and contrast section of this video, where I'm gonna be fully comparing the, the ISC2 certified in cybersecurity certification versus the CompTIA Security Plus certification, I first wanna go over the basics of the certification, just in case there are many of you who haven't heard of it before. So as I mentioned, this is going to come with a free training that is self-paced, and this is part of ISC2's initiative to diversify the workforce and help close the cybersecurity workforce gap, which if you haven't heard of already is the fact that there there aren't enough cybersecurity professionals to fill in the roles that companies are hiring for. But another reason for this is because many of the roles that the companies are hiring for are much more mid-level or senior compared to entry-level roles, which are definitely harder to get when you're just starting out. And this is where the free self-paced online training comes in, as well as a waived exam fee. But they also offer an online textbook that you can purchase for about $20. So this is not required. It is supplemental learning if you prefer to follow a textbook rather than their online self-paced learning. But one thing to note is that if you buy the textbook, you only get access for about 365 days. So to participate in their 1 million certified in cybersecurity program, you basically have to create an ISC2 account, or if you already have one, you can just sign in. Complete the candidate form and select the CC certification as your interest. And then once your application is complete, you'll officially become a CC candidate. Then you'll gain access to their free online self-paced training, as well as a code to register for a free certification exam. And then once you pass the exam, you'll complete another candidate form and you'll also pay a $50 annual maintenance fee. This, I would say, is pretty standard with most certifications. The CompTIA Security Plus also has a maintenance fee, but instead of being paid annually, it is upon renewal. So I believe about every three years when you renew your Security Plus, you also have to pay a fee, or you can waive that fee by paying for other activities, which can be found on the CompTIA Security website. But 
Either way, with certifications, you will never get away from the annual maintenance fee. So I would say $50 for one year is pretty good for a standard beginner certification. And then after you complete all of this, you'll officially be ISC2 certified in cybersecurity. Just based on the process that I've described to you, you can probably understand why this certification has become so popular in the last few months. Of course, ISC2 also provides other paid training if you need additional learning resources on top of the free training or the $20 textbook. For example, if you get what they call their bundled extras, the first tier currently starts at $199, which comes with two opportunities to pass the exam instead of just waiving the one exam fee. And this will include the annual maintenance fee for that first year. As part of bundle number two, this one is much more expensive and it is $804, where you'll get the same benefits of the last bundle, two opportunities to pass the exam, waived annual fee for the first year. But this one comes with a live virtual classroom led by an IST2 authorized instructor, as well as working with other peers who are currently also studying for this exam. Since you have the free option, I would definitely start off there, but I will say that compared to the CompTIA Security Plus, if you guys have seen CompTIA Security Plus training offers, those can go up to the thousands. So I would say that this is kind of a fair price, even though it is still, of course, very high. But compared to the Security Plus, it's not as bad. And by the way, if you guys are currently in the cybersecurity job market, I recently announced my cybersecurity interview prep mastery course that is now live and open to enrollment for students. This is for anyone who is currently in the cybersecurity job market, doesn't know where to start on a cybersecurity interview prep and how to properly prepare for technical and security design interviews, which we'll be covering all of that in my cybersecurity interview prep mastery course. It also comes with mock interviews, all of my cybersecurity interview resources, my career guides and roadmap, as well as a resume and cover letter template. So basically everything you need to ace your next cybersecurity interview. And you can find more information about the course linked in my description. All right, so now that we've officially completed covering the ISC2 certified in a cybersecurity course at a high level, let's go over to the CompTIA Security Plus, which of course is very popular, but not necessarily perfect either. With the CompTIA Security Plus on your resume, along with technical projects, as well as all of your other technical skills and experience, this is really what makes up a very strong cybersecurity resume because it is compliant with ISO 17024 standards and approved by the US Department of Defense to meet Directive 8140. At a high level, similar to the ISC2, C2 CC certification, this certification also doesn't require any previous experience or technical background or education in cybersecurity. Most people take the certification exam while they're currently still a student or if they're in their early career, which in my case, I took this exam when I was about a year into my career in a cybersecurity rotational program. As of right now, the exam fee to take the CompTIA Security Plus certification is $404. This has definitely gone up since the last time I saw it. And I would say that this certification does inch up in price every few months or so, maybe every three to six months. But the last time I looked at it, it was about $392 for the exam fee. If you're watching this video months, months into the future of me posting it, you should always check the official website to check if the price has changed. Right away, you already see the biggest difference between the CC certification versus the Security Plus. Security Plus, just to take the exam once, is $404. Of course, they have bundles where you can bundle multiple exams, but compared to the CC certification, if you only try to take it once, you have free training as well as a waived exam fee for the first try. At least for right now, while ISC2 is offering this, this free exam voucher and training, this will most likely change after they meet their 1 million target to get enough people CC certified. So now let's look at their bundles. Their basic bundle, which includes two exam vouchers as well as a self-paced study guide, is $581. This is more than double the price of the current ISC2 CC bundle that we've covered. And the most expensive one is their live online training is $2,400. $499. And personally, I do know of many other resources and learning guides that you can use for free without ever needing to take this live training. Personally, I did not do that. I have a video on what resources that I use to pass my Security Plus, but this already goes into one of the first differences between the certifications. And that is the fact that to pass the Security Plus, you don't necessarily have to rely on CompTIA's official resources. As you can see on their website, it ranges from a few hundred dollars to a thousand dollars to two thousand and five hundred dollars 
for these bundled trainings. Professor Messer has an awesome Security Plus course and all of his resources are completely free if you take any CompTIA certification exam for that matter. Josh Matacor also has lots of free questions, practice questions that you can use for the Security Plus. When I was studying for my Security Plus, I used a $30 textbook I bought on Amazon as well as practice exams that were part of my company's O'Reilly subscription. But you can also find the same practice exams on Amazon for $20 to $30. But as you can see, there are lots of resources out there for the Security Plus, and many of them are very low cost or just free. And when you compare this to the ISC2 CC certification, since this certification is relatively new, you may not be able to find these free resources or very low cost resources as easily as you can for the Security Plus. That is obviously because the Security Plus has been out for a very long time. There's different types of people who prefer different types of training. And personally for me, I like knowing that all the information that I need to know for an exam is all in this one book. And as long as I read this book cover to cover, I'll ace the exam. And that is basically what I did for my Security Plus. But because the CC certification is relatively new, there may not be that abundance of types of study resources that you can refer to besides the official documentation, the official training, the official resources. And not everyone may learn the same way using those resources. So that is one downside I see since this is a relatively new certification. Obviously this will change with time if the certification becomes more popular and more standard for employers to try to look for. But of course, for the low, low price of free 99, I still recommend everyone to take this certification if you're just starting out because again, it's free. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of overlap in the topics that are covered between the CC certification and the Security Plus. So if you end up studying for both and getting them both on your resume, it'll only help you and further your chances of standing out as a candidate for cybersecurity roles. All right, so let's go over what's actually on the material on both of these certifications. First, let's start off with the ISC2 CC cert. So based on their official website, this certification includes five major topics, which are security principles, incident response, business continuity, and disaster recovery concepts, access control, network security, and security operations. And now comparing this to the five domains in the CompTIA Security Plus, which include general security concepts, threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, security architecture, security operations, and security program management and oversight. So let's go over the biggest differences. First, the CC certification focuses more on incident response and disaster recovery recovery, as well as network security, while the CompTIA Security Plus chooses to focus on threats and vulnerabilities, as well as their mitigations and overall security program management. So they're definitely tackling different areas of cybersecurity where I would say threats and vulnerabilities and their mitigations on the Security Plus could be helpful for a red teamer, someone who wants to go into ethical hacking or pen testing, but also be helpful for a blue teamer, which is someone who is going to be an SOC analyst. So just based on these high level domains, the Security Plus seems a bit more well-rounded for, for someone who wants to go into offensive or defensive security. But the CC certification seems to focus a lot more on the defensive side of cybersecurity or SOC. So they focus on incident response, disaster recovery, network security, foundational security, security operations. These are definitely more so blue team focused or anyone who's on the defensive side or, or SOC analyst level one or level two type roles. So right off the bat, that is already something to keep in mind. And of course, this would be perfect if you already know that you want to go into SOC or defensive security, then the CC certification is already a great option, especially as the certification becomes more popular. But what about the exam itself? So the CC certification is completed in two hours with hundred questions that are multiple choice and you need 700 out of 1000 points to pass. The CompTIA Security Plus certification is a maximum of 90 questions, has multiple choice and performance based, which performance based are essentially the drag and drop interactive questions that you'll see in your Security Plus exam. You need a score of a 750 out of 900 to pass within 90 minutes. So I would say the exam structures are relatively similar. So the CC certification exam is a bit longer, but it also has more questions sitting at 100 versus a maximum of 90 on Security Plus. But the Security Plus has performance based and multiple choice questions. So I would say overall, the exam structures are pretty comparable, especially when you're just covering beginner level concepts. It's not like the performance-based questions on Security Plus are, are OSCP level or highly engaging, but they should test relatively similar concepts that you'll also see on the CC certification. All right, so hopefully this shared everything you need to know from the cost, the comparisons, the pros and cons of these two certifications and which one is right for you. Obviously, if you're currently in the job market for a cert, 
I would say take both because the CC is free right now and the Security Plus is, is still, as of right now, the most popular beginner cybersecurity certification. So it wouldn't hurt to have both of them on your resume. Don't forget to check out my cybersecurity interview prep mastery course for anyone who is currently looking for a cybersecurity job and ready to ace your next cybersecurity interview. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions or any comments that you would like to share about these certifications from your experience in the comments below. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.